This is the new Fortnite only up world record. What you're about to see is literally mind blowing. This time has been set by a Japanese speedrunner called Amino, who's actually been speedrunning Fortnite maps for over four years. I've analyzed this run versus other speed one world records, which were obviously slower than this, to see where the biggest time saves were made and pay attention to everything he does because it is all specific. It is all done for a reason, and already he's obviously flying through the map. It is so impressive to watch. In fact, one of the biggest ways that he actually saves time in this run is by simply being near perfect. The route that he takes throughout, the jumps that he makes throughout are pinpoint accurate, and you'll see him mantling very little. He's jumping over everything, and already we can see here one of the big first shortcuts that will cut off a lot of time that all the world record runs will actually use and it is just so impressive to see how quick someone can actually fly through this map now one thing that you will notice come in and out of his run at the top screen is actually the symbol that he doesn't have a great internet connection and this does actually believe it or not work against him and is probably the reason there's only one mistake throughout this entire run up until this point it's absolutely perfect and i'll point out when that one mistake happens but the bigger thing is that there's two huge skips that give him a few extra seconds which is vitally important on speed run world records to make this the new quickest time getting to the moon and finishing the moon in under nine minutes flying across the map jumping onto the top of the roof on the hut already skipping so much of the maps and as you can see here the mantling is very little constantly sprinting constantly moving as fast as possible and as you can see there in the top screen actually the wi-fi symbol the like lag symbol has appeared and i'm not sure if this is because he's from japan and the servers just aren't the strongest in the world but I went back to his old videos, and as I said, he's been speedrunning Fortnite maps for four years. Amino knows what he's doing, and it is so, so impressive. Coming up here is actually a section that has a lot of RNG, a lot of random number-generated luck, essentially. As we get into the golf cart, we are heading up towards a very glitchy part of the map. The road here can chuck you around and is very inconsistent, but moving that aside that the route's actually taken here and the slides that are used to get a little bit of a boost it's almost more mario kart-esque than it is actually fortnite but depending on how you hit these bumps how much air time you get and how the cart moves it's so hard to control this if anyone beats this time they need a lot of luck in this area and there's a lot of luck simply not to just glitch through the map here and have the your whole run completely ruined but obviously with this speed run that does not happen. And this is one of the big first skips that is really, really useful here. Jumping onto the tires to then jump and slide straight onto the boost pad, straight again into the next one, straight onto Kevin the Cube and up. Saving a little bit of time, precious, precious seconds to make this the world record speed run. I'd love to know if with a better internet connection, if it, this could be beaten literally by himself. I wouldn't be surprised if Amino gives this another go because every single day, seconds are being shaved off. And this route here through the graveyard, perfectly jumping, is going to be straight into a slide onto the wall and jumping up onto the roof. It is all done so, so precisely. Like the fact that this, this map can take people hours, days, sometimes will never be completed. And the fact that it can be beaten in under nine minutes now is just so impressive. Now, this jump here straight onto the dark sand, heading towards the snow castle, is also perfectly executed. And imagine you're going on a speedrun world record. A friend sends you an invite and you accidentally accept and leave the game. Thankfully, that does not happen. And again, more super, super precise jumping here. You can just see how well he knows exactly where he's meant to be going, exactly how he's meant to be moving. I've actually seen some world records, previous world records, obviously, done with Xbox controllers. Most of them are done with keyboard and mouse for hyper quick movement and uh, doing side jumps and long jumps. And putting those input in can be a little bit easier on keyboard and mouse. But 
honestly, if you've got the skill, if you've got the routing, and you're a good enough gamer, doesn't matter what input you're using, but Amino here is playing on keyboard and mouse. And one thing that I love is that Amino's skin setup is exactly the same as it was when he was speed run running uh, four years ago. And this route here is perfectly executed, taking a little bit of a shortcut, and rather than going up the hill, perfectly touching the edge of the speed boost there, and making his way around the edge of the mountain. Some people traverse a little bit higher, some people a little bit lower. This part is, is tough because obviously they're basically working their way around the edge of the map and skipping a lot of the area, but there aren't too many visual cues for the exact route that you should be taking. But obviously having seen these guys done it so many times, they know exactly what they should be doing. And as the run goes on, as we get further and further into it, these parts of the map are harder to practice and harder to nail because to get to it, you literally have to be playing to this point every single time. And it's tough. It gets harder and harder and harder to nail. Now, during this segment, in fact, a few seconds ago, you'll see there's a bit of visual bugging. Like, the, the lag is there, which stressed me out, and I'm not even the one playing. Here is another awesome jump flying straight onto another boost pad. As you can see here, landing on the opposite side, flipping themselves, and this is massive. Such a big jump. Some of the other world records land a lot further back in this level and have to traverse a lot, lot more. This part is so sketchy and scary. I'd be freaking out right now. Everything has been going perfectly. Pretty much no mistakes. Nothing so far is less than world record optimized. And so we're making our way up. We're making our way up. We are getting to a point where we are getting close to the final season, season X. This is where the only mistake happens as he perfectly jumps over the bones of the monster. Again, no mantling, just perfectly landing them. Those bones can be extremely slippy and pay, pay close attention right here. Are you ready? Jump. What happened? It's like the character was forced off of the box and, and the character was forced to mantle. I'm sure that's something to do with his internet connection. But that little mistake there slowed him down by maybe a second or so. And that's the cool thing about world records. They're there to be beaten and beaten and beaten. And no doubt people start to find bigger skips. And as soon as they find skips and it shaves off even more seconds, the whole world record race starts again. Perfectly jumping over all of the obstacles here. As we head towards the pool, yeeting ourselves on top of the golf course hut, straight onto the tires, full momentum, as we are getting towards the end of the season one to season X section, straight over the king's chair there, onto the roof, into the portal. That is eight minutes, 11 seconds world record, but we are continuing through the moon segment as he slide jumps and misses that meteor on the right, straight onto tires. Oh, mate, the low gravity here. 2,600 meters in the air. If I got to this point, I'd, I'd choke. <laughs> I could never, ever, ever do a world record in anything. Because we've got a few more jumps to go to perfectly land this, to not only get a world record on the season one to X segment, but also finishing it off perfectly with the perfect moon jump. I'll let you guys in on a secret. Despite being knowledgeable of everything you've just seen, I've actually never played this map myself. If you want to see me try and play only up, hit the thumbs up button. Congratulations to Amina for that incredible world record. I'll leave a link to their channel in the description, so go and congratulate them. Or you can watch another video on screen here. That was crazy.